This is going to be a real quick demo. I had uh, quite a few people ask how to bypass the compressors on uh, certain radios, on sonars, on SBEs, on radios that have an outboard compressor, meaning that the uh, compressor is on its own board and the compressor goes um, in between the mic and the uh, rest of the chassis of the radio on its own board, own power supply. Uh, the sonars have it, the SBEs have it, a few more radios that I can't think of have an outboard compressor but they're all similar to this here in this sonar FS2340. A uh, very simple board uh, that amplifies and uh, compresses the signal coming in from your microphone and then sends it out to the regular audio uh, application of the radio. Uh, on this compressor board you really only have four wires, the red uh, for the power, the black for the ground to power up the uh, compressor board and then you have two small coaxial type cables coming in. Uh, this one's marked number 51, the coaxial and the other one up here, uh, don't know if you can see it coming in, is uh, 53. One of these is coming from the microphone jack uh, into this board and the other one goes out of the board and into the regular uh, amplification of the radio. The easiest way to bypass a compressor is to unsolder the two coaxial cables, in this case number 51 here and up there number 53, unsolder them from the board and solder them to wet together. Uh, that would be it. You've just bypassed the compressor board. Uh, then you can run a power mic um, pretty easy without getting uh, muffled or distorted. And if you want to later uh, uh, put the board back in, just unsolder your coaxial cables and solder them back into the board again. Just remember or mark uh, what goes where. Uh, one of them is in, one of them is out. And if I wanted to really find out which one went where, I can go to the other side of the radio and see uh, they're marked on the other ends, which one goes to the mic jack and which one goes to the uh, audio application of the uh, radio. But I don't really care because if I wanted to bypass it, just unsolder them or cut them if you want to, but I don't recommend cutting. And then uh, solder them back together, those two uh, in and out coaxial cables, and uh, you've just bypassed the uh, compressor board. Uh, less than a five minute job. Very easy to do. That's it on the demo of uh, bypassing the compressor board. Very easy on sonar, uh, SBE, and some other radios that have an outboard compressor S similar to this on the uh, sonar FS2340 here. Bye.